How to make table mat? This video is brought to you by Creative Lab. Website creativelab.petpaint.com Hello viewers, today I'm going to show you how to fold this plate for mat. Once you learn the technique, you can make it any size you want. This is the sample size I'll be showing today. So let me show you how to do it. Take a sheet of paper that is 10 cm wide. Okay, now I am going to mark every 1.3 cm. Okay, so I am going to do the same thing on the other side. Now I am going to join those markings so that I get rectangles that measure 10 cm by 1.3 cm I am doing it with pen in order to show you clearly but while you are trying this out please use a pencil so that your marks are not visible now we have the paper ready with the lines. Just fold this into half and make a crease line. Okay. Now turn it over and fold it the other side. Okay. Now bring the sides to the center crease line. Okay. So just make crease lines alright now open it up now we are going to cut them on the lines we have drawn earlier so that we'll get thin strips for trying a sample you'll just need four of them but if you want to make a mat then you will need lots like this okay so first you will need four show you clearly how to knot I am going to make it in four different color paper fold one end of the first strip fold the end of the second strip over the first fold thereby by covering the loose end of the first fold same way the third one okay can you see that clearly? Ok now take the fourth one insert it between the first fold and turn over and slit it inside backwards and pull it so that you will have a small square there and with four tails so just pull those tails to tighten the square so this is a no basic knot we will be doing now I am going to show you on the same colored paper so first take the first one fold it and then the second one on the end of the first same way the third one on the end of the second now the fourth one insert it through the gap of the first pole you see the gap clearly as I push the first pole slightly at the same time make sure you are covering the third pole ok and the rest the three fourth of the strip on the back side just let it through the first loop and pull it so that you make a knot so pull all the ends so that the knot becomes tight alright this is the basic knot we will be doing now we will take three more and make the second one ok so close the one of the ends take the second one and keep it on the tail ending side like this take the third one and close the second end ok 
Okay. Now the fourth one. Insert it through the slot created by the first trip. Okay, then turn it over and insert the rest of the strip. Slowly, so that you don't tear off the paper. Okay, so now slowly tighten the ends. Okay, so now we have two. Now the same way we'll make the third knot. Count over and insert. The only tricky part is the fourth strip that we'll be inserting through the slot. The rest is all simple. So once you have learned how to do that, then everything is simple. Okay, now we have three of them. So for the fourth one, we already have two of them from the already made checkers. So we'll take only two more strips now. So first we took four strips. For the second check, we took only three. Third also we took three. Now for the fourth one, we'll only take two extra rectangle strips. Okay. Steps are all the same. Only thing is you will need a little practice. So now you will have four checks. All right with a small diamond in the middle right keep doing it more and more as big as you want once you're happy with your size then you can cut the ends since you have knotted it's not going to come off just cut the tail ends on all the four sides I made it as a square. If you're, if you like rectangle, you can go ahead and do rectangle shape as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Here is the final product. Thanks for watching. Please visit my website, creativelab.petpaint.com.